Hello, and welcome back to Good Ship Cruising. It's me, Jed, your trusted tour guide, and today we'll be taking a look around the world's largest cruise ship, Icon of the Seas. Weighing in at around 250,000 gross tons and measuring a staggering 365 meters, with a guest capacity for 7,000, she is truly a modern marvel. Icon of the Seas features eight neighborhoods, including the brand new Surfside and Aquadome precincts. And you've come to the right place to see all of these locations right now in this tour with me. Speaking of tours, let's get this one kickstarted on deck 17. Starting on deck 17, you are greeted with the impressive Cloud 17 Sun Deck, which features a huge variety of seating and also a smaller size Infinity Plunge Pool. A lime and coconut bar is located adjacent to the Infinity Pool along with a martini glass style hot tub. How cool is that? The views over the ship's central park from this deck truly give you a scale of how big Icon of the Seas actually is. Heading on down to deck 16, you can find Icon's swim up bar concept, which is aptly named Swim and Tonic. If you can grab a prime position in here, it's the perfect place to keep cool and enjoy a cocktail. Strolling along this deck towards the aft of the ship, you'll also notice the colourful casitas for hire and another lime and coconut bar. Once again at midships, there are plenty of seating options, so you'll never have to go hunting for a sun lounger. Also located on deck 16 is the Crown's Edge, which has guests tackling an eye-watering obstacle course high over the side of the ship. Next door to Crown's Edge is another Royal Caribbean staple, Adrenaline Peak, which features a huge rock climbing wall. You'll also find access to the ship's sports court from this location as well. Continuing on aft, this is where things get really fun. First up is Base Camp, which is a new concept debuting on Icon of the Seas. Everything you could possibly need for a fun day in the sun can be found right here. There's all new dining options and a bar surrounded by plenty of shaded seating. You'll even meet Marty, the cheeky parrot who looks after Base Camp. The Lost Dunes mini golf course can also be found here on deck 16 aft, and I think it's one of the best mini golf courses at sea. Pencils and scorecards are also provided. Nestled in at the aft of deck 16 is also the entrance to the adults only hideaway, but we'll take a closer look at that when we jump down to deck 15. Now, it's time for all of you thrill seekers. Let's check out Thrill Island, the biggest water park at sea. There's six water slides at the new category six water park, all with varying degrees of intensity. So there is something for the whole family. And just so you know, my personal favorite was Storm Surge. It was so much fun. And I definitely stayed away from Frightening Bolt. I hate trapdoors. Deck 16 also happens to be home to the famous and always popular Flow Rider. Alrighty, let's head on down to Deck 15. And are you ready to be wowed? Because we're about to check out the new Aquadome. Perch in the prime position overlooking the bow of the ship, you will find this immersive new neighbourhood that is home to a variety of venues. The overlook is the best spot to watch the ocean go by and curl up with a book or drink from Ryan Bean. How fantastic are the views from up here?
Aquadome is also host to the spectacular new aqua shows created by Royal Caribbean specifically for this new venue. Take a quick look at this sneak peek, you won't be disappointed. You will also find the Aquadome Market and Hook Seafood located in the Aquadome. Aquadome Market is a new dining concept on Icon of the Seas which features a variety of ready to order cuisines. This is one of my new personal favourites on Icon and a great alternative to the Windjammer. Now let's head outside and take a look at the main swimming pool here on deck 15. The main pool here features one of the largest pools at sea and it draws a huge crowd on a sea day. Luckily there's an abundance of great seating here so there's always somewhere to sit back and relax. And if you need to grab a drink there's also two lime and coconut bars located here on the pool deck. Directly opposite the Royal Bay Pool is the Cove Pool, which features panoramic views of the ocean. And by this time you've probably worked up an appetite. So you're in luck because located just next door is the Windjammer Marketplace and our Loco Fresh serving Mexican cuisine. Royal Caribbean does Mexican really well and our Loco Fresh on Icon of the Seas is no exception. Just a little stroll away from our Loco Fresh and the main pools will have you arriving at the Windjammer Marketplace. The Windjammer on Icon is spread across both sides of the split atrium with views of Surfside below. There's a large hand washing station at the entrance so make sure you washy washy before heading on in. Inside you'll find multiple stations serving a variety of your favourite royal dishes and if you're lucky they might even be serving some lobster like they were on my cruise. Now, Deck 15 is also home to the Hideaway Adults Only area. Access is via Deck 16, but let's go take a look now. The star of the show here is the incredible suspended infinity pool, which overlooks the wake of the ship. There's also three daybed islands that can be hired, but let me tell you, it gets very hot here and there's no sun protection. So make sure you slip slop slap if you plan on spending the day here. There's also a fantastic bar here with plenty of seats to soak up the amazing sunset views. And on the port side of the ship, there's also tiered sun lounger seating. Jumping on down to deck 14, you can find Icon's Vitality Spa which is spread across two decks. You can get all of your favourite spa treatments here and there's even a new healthy smoothie bar. 
Also, if you're prepared to take a long walk all the way to the aft of Deck 14, you're in for a treat. In a rather inconspicuous location tucked away on Deck 14, you can find a huge scale model of Icon of the Seas. So for any ship nerds like myself, this spot is heaven. Now it's time to take a look at Deck 8 on Icon of the Seas. First stop is the Empire Supper Club, which is hidden away here on Deck 8 forward. This intimate venue is beautifully designed and oh so exclusive. Drum roll please because we're heading to visit one of my favourite neighbourhoods on Icon of the Seas. Let's take a look at the revamped Central Park which will look familiar to Oasis class fans, but also features a fresh new design with hundreds of eye-catching multicolored window shutters. There's over 10,000 individual plants here, which will transport you from cruise ship to lush garden oasis in the blink of an eye. Not only is there an abundance of flora here, but there's also plenty to see and do with a variety of dining and retail options located in Central Park. Izumi Hibachi and Izumi in the Park find their home here in the forward section of Central Park, along with the ever-popular Chops Grill. Strolling towards the centre of Central Park, you will find the Park Cafe and access to the Royal Promenade via the Pearl. If you're a champagne lover, you'll also be delighted to find the Bubbles Champagne Window, which was one of my favourite bars on board Icon of the Seas. And for my jazz fans out there, there is Lou's Jazz Bar which features tunes daily and a lovely indoor-outdoor alfresco seating area. There's also a handful of luxury retail options located here at Central Park if shopping is on your mind whilst taking a stroll. Alrighty, it's time to check out another new neighbourhood exclusive to Icon of the Seas. Located here on Deck 7 is the brand new family theme Surfside District. And if you've come looking for a snack here, you're in the right place because you will find Surfside Eatery, Pier 7 and Sugar Beach. There's also the famous Royal Caribbean Carousel which is sure to be a hit for the whole family. But the star feature here is definitely the new Splashway Bay and Water's Edge Pool. Not to mention it's in prime location for some epic wake views. There's plenty of great seating options here so it's perfect for families wanting to spend the day together. Okay, it's time to head back indoors as we take a stroll down to Deck 6. Deck 6 is home to the upper level of the Royal Promenade on Icon of the Seas. As you exit the forward elevator lobby on Deck 6, you will find the dueling piano bar and the attic. In the heart of the Royal Promenade on the port side of the ship, you will find Pearl Cafe. This is another flagship venue on Icon of the Seas and for good reason. Surrounded by a wall of glass with ocean views as far as the eye can see, this is the perfect spot to sit back and relax with a yummy snack or a drink from the cafe. And the best part is the absolutely stunning art installation of a whale which finds itself at home suspended above the Pearl Cafe. Just next door to the Pearl Cafe, you can find another Royal Caribbean favourite, Bolero's. Adjacent to Bolero's on the starboard side of the ship is the Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar. There's also the ever popular Schooner Bar.
Heading towards the aft of the ship, you will find Playmaker's Sports Bar and Arcade. It's also home to the entrance of Absolute Zero and Adventure Ocean. This part of the ship is very awkwardly designed in my opinion, as the Playmaker Sports Bar is long and thin, and it creates a bottleneck when there are guests entering and leaving Absolute Zero. Not only does this interrupt other guests enjoying the Playmaker's Bar, but it also seems to be a little bit of a safety issue. But enough safety talk, let's have a closer look at both of these venues. Alrighty, now it's time to head down to Deck 5, which is absolutely jam-packed. Icon's impressively long running track is here on Deck 5, and also provides access to the ship's fitness center and gym. If you've ever wondered what was behind these quirky looking circular windows on the bow of Icon of the Seas, well now you know it's the fitness centre. Just next door to the fitness centre is Icon's Royal Theatre. This multi-story venue is incredibly designed and is also home to Royal Caribbean's famously high-quality Broadway shows. Currently, The Wizard of Oz is headlining on board Icon of the Seas, and trust me, it is not to be missed. Heading out into the Royal Promenade from the Royal Theatre, you'll be greeted by another Royal Caribbean favourite, Sorrento's Pizzeria. There's also the new Spotlight Karaoke Bar, retail venues and a Starbucks. The Royal Caribbean merch store is opposite Starbucks and is filled with Icon of the Seas goodies. It's safe to say I spent a lot of time and money there. Ship nerds rejoice because there are plenty of Icon scale models to be had. And you know me, I couldn't help myself, I had to buy one. As a side note too, there is a special meet and greet event where the captain will sign your Icon of the Seas scale model. How cool is that? Okay, it's time for the part of the ship you've been waiting to see. Let's take a look at the beating heart of Icon of the Seas, the Pearl. The Pearl is three stories high and backed by a wall of glass connecting guests to the ocean like never before. Not only is the Pearl beautiful to look at, it's an integral part of the ship's structure. It supports the central park and all of the cabins above it as well. It also features one of the most advanced digital kinetic sculptures in the world with hundreds of individual tiles. It's one of my favourite places on board Icon of the Seas, and it's so easy to see why. Opposite the Pearl are the Embarkation Entry Points and the 1400 Bar. The 1400 Bar is visually stunning, and the cocktail list is full of Royal Caribbean history and facts. If you're a ship nerd like me, you will love this bar. And for the first time ever in the Royal Promenade, there's also a huge ocean-facing terrace, so you can enjoy your cocktail whilst taking in the views outdoors. In another world first, you'll also find escalators which provide access to the Casino Royale directly from the Royal Promenade. These escalators are also used on port days for quick and easy debarkation. Moving aft through the Royal Promenade, you will come across Point and Feather Bar, which serves a huge variety of gin-inspired cocktails and drinks. And opposite Point and Feather is Icon's guest services. Rather surprisingly, the guest services area on the world's largest cruise ship is comically small, as you can see here. Heading through the aft elevator bank on deck 5, you can find the supremely impressive three-storey main dining room. 
The visual elements in this part of the ship are an absolute feast for the eyes and it's the perfect place to enjoy a meal and make some memories with your travel companions. As a side note, you can access the main dining room via decks 5, 4 and 3. It's time to take a look at deck 4, starting with the Royal Theatre. Deck 4 offers the best access seats up close and personal with the stage. Outside of the Royal Theatre is the very popular Music Hall which spans two decks on Icon of the Seas. And let's go take a look inside. Just next door to the Music Hall is the centrally located Casino Royale. As I mentioned before, you can also access the Casino Royale from Deck 5 using the Royal Promenade Escalators. After the Casino is the entrance to the main dining room on Deck 4, and as I mentioned earlier, you can access the main dining room on Deck 3 as well. So, that was our final stop on board the spectacular Icon of the Seas. Thank you so much for stopping by Good Ship and keeping me company on this tour. I love creating these tours for you and if you love watching it, please feel free to leave a like or comment. You can also subscribe so you don't miss any Good Ship content. So thank you so much and I'll see you again very soon.